Throughout my 10-year experience as a human rights defender who has interacted with the United Nations and more specifically with special procedures, there were two cases that I wanted to bring up today that showcase, I think, especially from my experience, what has worked and what hasn't worked when trying to use the different mechanisms within the United Nations for the promotion and protection of human rights. I was in prison in Bahrain at the time. But colleagues in Geneva and from other parts of the world submitted my case to different special rapporteurs, asking them to write a joint letter demanding my release to the Bahraini government. And they also wrote to the Office of the High Commissioner to get involved in my case. There was enough pressure where it became more costly for the Bahraini government to keep me in prison than it was for them to release me. Of course, I have to mention that there was also other international pressure outside of Geneva that happened that also fed into this case. But eventually, I ended up being released because of that pressure. On the other hand, there's my father's case, who's now been imprisoned for nine years in Bahrain, who's also a human rights defender. And my father's case should have been one of those clear-cut, very easy to deal with cases because he's a human rights defender who's been subjected to reprisal. We've had multiple special procedures comment and act on his case. And yet, because my father is very high profile in Bahrain and because of his human rights work, despite all of that pressure that's been ongoing for years, we have unfortunately not been able to get him released from prison and he continues to sit in prison in Bahrain today. If countries know that they can still get elected onto advisory boards, uh, onto advisory councils, into the Human Rights Council and so on without any kind of repercussion for reprisals, for targeting human rights defenders, then the pressure that is created by special procedures doesn't necessarily create the kind of pressure necessary to protect or get human rights defenders released from prison. When working on a case, it's always good to look at which special procedures or special rapporteurs as well can be involved in this one case. The more special rapporteurs you can get involved, the more you can get joint statements rather than individual statements and so on, the larger the pressure. It's always good to have the backing of special procedures saying, for example, that this person has been arbitrarily detained to then go back to countries of influence within the Human Rights Council and say, this isn't just us as civil society saying it, this is special procedure saying it. 